Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. I am really excited to get some more stuff done with machinery now. Now that we got the bases, the base items done, uh, the main thing that we're going to take care of today is gathering resources. We need to really focus on that because I don't want to start jumping into building machines and then have to stop over and over because that would be annoying. I'm going to just make a barrel to put all the stuff in that I have right now. We have no iron now. I need to clear out my backpack as well. I'm pretty sure I have a ton of stuff in there. We have some iron. We have like no iron actually. I'm just going to have to use... Actually, can I use osmium in here? And will this... It'll repair. Yeah. Um, okay, it used the iron. We'll see if I can use the osmium. I hope I can. That'd be nice. Let's try and clear out our inventory here. Um, actually, we have no iron, so we can't make a iron chest or anything. But I can do this and balance the grid and turn all of this into compacted deep slate. Okay, let's grab a couple water buckets. Can we make... Oh, man, I, I'm already getting sidetracked. But I was thinking about if I can make a uh, Silent Gear sword. What does Osmium give me? Malleable, damage 4 plus 3, durability, repair efficiency 100, durability 500. Okay, can I just do this? Oh, okay, I can just do this. Alright, so that does 8 damage. That's fine. Better than this oxidized copper sword, which does 5.8. So I will take it. And it attacks a bit faster. That's nice. All right, let us go finally to mine. Okay, we mined all that redstone last time, which is nice. Ow, you bitch. Leave me alone. Oh, little Timmy. And his father. Go away. Let's see what we got. An iron axe. Is it going to be enchanted? Oh, it's blue. 14 damage. Damn. Okay, well, I like that. Some iron. Cracked gem. Okay, nice. Let's see how much this does. It does extra crit. Oh, and it has... Oh, 45% chance to hit three nearby enemies. Okay, I thought it had loot pinata. I was like, I think that's only purple tier. So when you get a purple tier apotheosis item, which is an epic grade one, there's a chance for it to have something that makes loot pinatas happen from mobs. And what a loot pinata does, it rolls their, uh, whatever they drop when you kill them, like whatever they roll, it just multiplies it by an insane amount. It's actually pretty nits. It's nits. Is there no coal down here? Cause I am out of torches. Oh, another spawner. Oh God, pillagers. What? You got the... You got the sauce. That weird bug. Oh, look at that. More diamonds, baby. Power four. Interesting. We got power four. We can put that on a bow or something. Maybe... I just grab some iron real quick. Go back and smelt it. And then we go make like a diamond tipped um, pickaxe. How much iron did we get so far? Only seven? We have 12. Okay, so that's 24 iron. How many diamonds did we get? Two. We have two at home. Hey. Hey, chill. Chill your shit. Oh my gosh. And the blood moon's up. Nice. Perfect. We love that. 
bonk. Yeah, this axe is not a in it. Where's the waterfall? Okay, so we came from over there. Oh, here we go. You've done that yourself. Your guys got like movement speed on them. Drop anything? No. Here we go again with all these damn mobs. We stairs to swim through. Try to do that last time and it would not work. It made me sad. Well, I'm plenty safe now, I guess. I'm going down by the real. Oh, look at that, more gold. Quite a bit of gold, too. Very nice. Can I just... There we go. I'm just gonna do this instead. Oh, thanks for breaking. I appreciate that. Okay, so it will use the osmium. Very nice. Let's go. Dude, our luck with these um with these caves is pretty ridiculous. Oh. Guess we'll just toss all of that in there. I'll take a bucket. And we'll just toss that in there too. Uh okay. Well, water bucket time again. Yeah. Ruin it all. I'm gonna have to turn the damn tunnel. Because I don't want to deal with all that lava. Oh gosh. Hey zombie, you can um you can just leave. You know. You don't have to like come over here at all. You can just leave me alone. That would be cool. And boop boop. Oh shit. Uh. Zombie brute. Probably grab a bucket of lava, actually. What is that? Zound. Oh, that's a uh, mob with a backpack. Yeah. Oh shit. Where are you? Over there? Anyway, okay, so this layer, just uh, do this. I should have brought a waystone or something. That would have been a good idea. All right, well, we're at the bottom though, so that's nice. Now we can do this, bam, and bam. Bam. Eh. Uh, is Darkstone stronger than... Oh, I guess it is. Oh. Port. Port, port, port. Oh, here's the uh, Arcanist debris. That's what you... Uh, I know you need that for something, but you need a netherite pick to even touch that. Stuff's trying to get in me pocket. Okay. What does this turn into? Copper. Nice. Yeah, for Greg Tech, there's quite a few ore that will spawn, and they spawn in large veins. And they give 
They're called things that are different, of course, but they give you Minecraft equivalents. There's a, quite a few iron ones, and I've found massive deposits of them before. The only thing that sucks about them is you typically um, cannot crush them with your ore hammer, but other than that, they're pretty good. Oh, give me that bag. Thank you. It'd be cool if I could find some diamonds. But getting some resources is part of the plan. Why I'm mining this and then placing the dark stone is because I believe dark stone has a higher break category than uh, deep slate. So if you mine deep slate and there's dark stone behind it, it won't actually take it. It's the same thing when you mine an ore, right? When you're using, when you are using FTB Ulta mine. If you mine an ore and there's stone behind it, it'll still mine the stone. But if you're mining a stone and there's an ore in that mix, it won't mine the, the ore because it has a higher break category. I don't know the name exactly, but it's a, it has a higher category um, or strength than whatever you're breaking, so it just leaves it there. Okay, we did quite a bit of mining, but I am out of stuff and things. I need to make a diamond... I have to create a tip upgrade blueprint. Okay. Um, but before I do that, I want to crush down this iron and get it cooking. I think two iron furnaces will do better than one gold. I believe. I hope I'm right. If not, then whoops. Oh, the ore hammer broke. Time to make another one. Okay. Ore hammer achieved. Let's break down the rest of this gold here. Put that in there. I'll grab the iron that is being cooked. The gold. Oh, there's some iron in there too. Nice. There's our repair kit. So you take some iron. There we go. Let's grab this. Tip upgrade. I need more paper. Do I have... I think I have sugar cane, right? I need to plant that if I do. There we go. I need to plant these. We will take out spruce tree, I guess, for now. Okay, let's just toss all of this in here for now. Take some of this, make some paper, make the need cooked stone, right? Is that what I need? Yeah, okay. Tip upgrade. Take the diamond tip. Boop, 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 boop. Repair this bad boy. Then we can put the diamond tip on it. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. So the harvest level is two, harvest speed six. Now it will be harvest speed eight instead of six and harvest level three. The durability go up as well? Yeah, the durability goes up by two times. So we have malleable, magnetic, and flexible. Then we gain lustrous, and malleable goes down by three, um, which is unfortunate, but flexible two is still there, so that's nice. We gain a large harvest speed boost when in light. Does light from my hand count? I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. If not, then oh well. Okay, well, let's do that. Very nice. Well, there's our iron pick. I think we can also make... Let's see what's next. So there's something that we can do with obsidian, right? Do we need a pickaxe head upgrade? I need more blue dye. All right. Do, 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 do. So blueprint, uh, pickaxe, blueprint. What do you have? Harvest speed six. And you have obsidian as your perks. Jagged three increases attack damage or decreases range damage. Increases armor or decreases attack damage as gear is damaged. Okay, now what if I do this? Oh, nice, okay. So, it gains jagged and crushing, but we lose the magnetic. Um, harvest speed is still the same though, and the durability is absolutely nuts, which is really nice. Now we can make a tool rod, and that has flexible and magnetic. So, and it has magnetic three, which is really nice. So we can put this here, 
and replace the tool rod here now we have so now we have jagged three we have the obsidian we have the diamond stuff and we have the iron stuff which is really nice so we have all of that their durability is 3300 um so that's pretty cool nice there's our pickaxe we'll toss the blueprints and stuff in here um let's make some torches okay 52 let's grab the iron though just so we can have so it feels better to know that we have some extra iron but now that we do have extra iron it's time to get rid of it <laughs> uh and the gold sophisticated barrels upgrade so basic tier upgrade two of those and we will use it on this one i guess this one now we can make the iron tier upgrade and then we'll make the gold tier upgrade as well Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. All right, we're ready to go out now. So let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll run back down there. Look at all this. Whoa. There's that much iron? Boom. Nice. That is beautiful. What we can do now that we have a nice heap of iron is we could probably make some iron farms. But first we need to breed some villagers. <laughs> I don't want to take away all the villagers from that jungle village. Oop. Oh, diamonds. Nice. I got some in that last break too, I think. Well, here are some diamonds. Pink four diamonds. Don't have fortune yet, but that's okay. We're getting some diamonds. Oh, more diamonds. What the hell was that? Dungeon noises. I'm gonna shit my pants. Ooh. Um. Okay. Go away. Oh, shit. Hey, screw you, man. I just want the diamonds that are over there. Hey. Quit trying to be slick. That's my name. I'm glad I looked into silent gear. This pickaxe is awesome. We have 16 diamonds so far. Very nice. And 45 iron. Yeah, screw you, beach. Okay. Well, we have those tunnels done, so let us... Oh. Typically, I would skip a wall, but I just want to make this a huge open under area, so let's just... Let's do it. Let's do it. Of course. I guess we won't be going that way again. The magnetic is really nice because the items just follow me when I don't have room. That's that's danger. We're about to break our pickaxe for the first time. A hundred durability left. Forty-six durability left. Now can we? No, we can't repair it with stone. Iron. Oh, huh. oh, we have to repair it with obsidian now, don't we? I see, I see. Okay. Well, say goodbye to that iron. Oh, I used all of my obsidian, didn't I? Nice job, me. Nice job. So, what I might do instead is just make another diamond tip upgrade and put it on an iron pick. Then go mine some obsidian. So we'll just do this. Grab this, do this, make the tip upgrade. Put that in there, and boom. Okay. We had to waste one diamond instead of three, making a diamond pick, so that is good. We used our Brian's there. We used our entire Brian. Iron. Put that in there, put that in there, and put that in there too. You are almost out of coal dust. Or, uh, tiny coal. We go boom, 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 boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. Okay, there we go. And I would like to clear this out a bit. At least we have a ton of lava down here. Um, this should help us out at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and just cover this. Cover this a bit more. Because I would like to just vein mine uh, 64. And I hope it gets magnetized towards me. That would be nice. Awesome. Okay. So now we might be able to make the next tier of... Yeah, okay. We can go ahead and make the next tier of repair kit so it's more efficient. So let's go ahead and do that, actually. I think so. It's okay, so we're going to go from 35% efficiency to 40%. And it can hold more. So that's nice. Ooh, the blue boss. I'm not going to worry about that, though. We'll put half in there. Um, it repairs more efficiently anyway. Oh, man, that actually took... Oh, it only took, f like, five. Five point... Well, yeah, like, 5.7. So we have a couple more repairs that we can do there. I really need to light up this area, huh? No thanks. If you guys want to fight, you come into my territory. <laughs> Come into my domain. Oh, you are coming into my domain. Goodbye. Now, after I collect a bit more resources... Man, these sounds are so spooky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some renewable power going. Some auto power. So, like, uh, maybe a wind generator. Maybe a solar panel. Just so we have something that isn't burning fuel. I mean, I know we already have the heat generator, and that's doing great. But it's only... 20 fe or 20.8 fe per tick so it can only handle the metallurgic infuser with no upgrades on it is lava gonna break through here yeah it will okay well no fun for me i suppose oh hey diamonds very nice hey yo get out of here and look who it is Oh, look at that, actually. But you want 64 diamonds and phantom embryo. I don't have that. Can I? I hope this will stay, because I would really like to get that, actually. That'd be really nice. I don't like the life-mending part on it, but that's fine. We can we can get rid of that. More diamonds, huh? Hey, get out of my face. What the hell? You know, I just was playing um, that game Lethal Company with some friends. All these sounds are... Spooking me. Little scary. It was my first time playing, and uh, yeah, I got I got got a few times. <laughs> Who's a spooky game? Oh hell no! I don't like those sounds. See if I can just leave this one wall here to hold that lava. There we go. Yeah, and then we can continue forward. I think one of the first upgrades I'm gonna, or one of the first few upgrades I'm gonna make for the backpack will be the magnet and stack upgrade. So while we're mining, we don't have to continually stop and fill up our backpack with the resources. And since I have quite a few diamonds, actually, I could also go for upgrading my backpack to diamond. Is this osmium? Ooh, it is osmium. This is a fat vein of osmium. Thank you. Look at this. I got two two sections of diamonds just now. Three, actually. Well, those were only one each, but hey, what is this? Gilded dark stone. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> did your llamas go into the lava? I bet they did. Silly asses. Okay, I'm probably going to just do a slash home real quick. Oh, it's all bright outside now. How many redstone do we have? Okay, we have 400 over here still. This is full. That's nice. All right. I think we put some platinum to cook? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oops. Got some lag when I completed that quest. Uh, we'll go ahead and just nab all the redstone out of there. And... Sweet, we got some more iron. We finally broke 100 iron. I want to make an ore hammer out of this. The platinum one lasts a bit longer. Okay, and we will go ahead and do this. This, and we'll toss the osmium in there as well. All right. 
So you cook the osmium, you cook the osmium, and I'll toss everything else in there. All right, get to work. Let's go ahead and upgrade our backpack to a diamond backpack. Yeah, sweet. So we collected a little bit of resources. Uh, I don't know if we, I still don't think we have enough to do everything we want to, but this is a start. Okay, let's check the quest book. Oh, look how much nicer this backpack is now. Ooh. Girl, you're looking nice. Okay, backpack is cleared out besides those few things that I want to keep in there. Let's uh, let's check on our quest line stuff. Got the bounty board. Oh, this is going to give us some... Ooh, 10 to 20 iron. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we got 17. Sick. And we got a stack upgrade. Ooh, we can put this in here. Boom. Now we have space. Beautiful. What a good reward. What a really nice reward to get from that. Um, okay, let's collect some more. What do we get here? A cat spawn egg. Interesting. Okay, and a common reward. We got a honey treat and an advanced oak beehive. That'll be nice once we do beehives. Basic storage. Diamond backpack. Two to four diamonds. And an uncommon reward. We got a hamburger. And I ended up getting the most diamonds. Very nice. Monch. Hearts, please. No hearts. Okay, that's fine. Mechanism. Oh, we have some mechanism quests. Some infused alloy. Oh, we just got extra infused alloy. Okay, that's fine. A water bucket. XP. Okay. Alright. What else do we have to collect here? Getting started with Greg Tech. Oh. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'll go through these. I need to read those later before we actually do anything. Forbidden and Arcanus. Spawner scrap. We got an oak log. How nice. XP. Well, that is all of our quests collected for now. Okay, now that we got a bit more resources, let's think about what we want to do next. Let's take a check into refined storage, see what we need to get started. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot of silicon, which is going to need a nether portal. So... I don't know if we're ready to go to the nether. We probably are, actually. This armor is quite fine. Um, but before we do that, we might want to take a look at some jetpacks. And iron jetpacks is in. So we can start off with the wooden jetpack. Because walking is for scrubs. Now, we have a wooden jetpack. Yeah. Very nice. Early game flight. Nice, we got nothing. Oh no, we got an aluminum pickaxe. Huh. What do you have? Bending? Okay, I think it has a gold rod. Yeah, it does. Golden tool rod. But it has the lapis lazuli tip upgrade. And amethyst. I don't know what those do. Harvest speed is massively fast. It's probably sm fast until, until it gets low, though. What's its durability? 369. Nice. Okay, well, we have our first jetpack. Let's look at upgrading this. And we will go for, if we go for the stone one, can we upgrade it further? We can. We could also just go for copper. How much, uh, how much power does copper have? It can hold 250. Okay, so we could probably, we'll go with copper, actually. Because that'll be the middle ground for us. We have to upgrade past stone anyway, and I think copper will be good a good start for us. Make two thrusters. Boop. And boom, copper jetpack, nice. Now, what can we do from copper jetpack? Can we go straight to iron? Oh, oh, silver goes into gold. Okay, so do we have silver ore? We should, right? Raw silver, okay, cool. So while we do whatever we're gonna do next, let's just get this silver smelting up and then we can upgrade the, it to a silver back, a uh, silver jetpack later. So you can actually use your basic energy cube to charge items. There you go. Energy cube. You saved me life. Let's go ahead and fill up our repair kit real quick before we go out into before we go out into the nether. Let's check our wheat. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Make some bread. 
I'll grab two more stacks here. Make some more bread. There. Now what we can do is... Well, this is cooking, that's cooking, that's cooking. We could upgrade our furnaces here. And we'll go ahead and make two of these. And we'll just place these on here. Oops. I don't know why that did that, but okay. Now these guys are gold. Very nice. And what is the gold to diamond? Oh, it's six diamonds. Gold to diamond. We'll upgrade our bad boy right here. There you go. Cook it up, cook it up. Well, let's go ahead and get sidetracked once more. Let's go easy villagers. And get an iron farm going. And let's just go ahead and get sidetracked once more. Because uh, I'm, I'm really good at that, if you guys haven't noticed. But it's always when I run out of something. And that is, and that's how, that's how this modded Minecraft crap goes, man. You just, you're working on something and then you realize, oh, I am out of this thing. And just like I was mentioning, me being sidetracked, I'm going to toss my bread in here. And bread will actually cook into, um toast which is about two times better in regards to saturation and while that's going we will get to work let's make that and let's make another one i'll put this here for now do this right here one there and we'll put another one there put this here um before we can even get these going we actually need villagers so I'm going to make a breeder oh there are copper shears nice because everything copper is awesome that's why come here sheep I have a use for you now thank you and breeder okay we have the breeder what we can do with this breeder is I'm going to Go to the jungle village. I believe I have one villager already. Um, but we're going to take another. Oh, did I get an ender pearl? Oh, you are so cool, man. Thank you. Other worker, butcher. Unemployed. You guys are my target. Thank you. <laughs> can we... Can we output... Um villagers little baby villagers into the breeder oops if I put food up there will you guys take it let's see um see now I'm really sad that I didn't grow any carrots okay we'll take this out of here for now we'll put a carrot in there um do these guys eat watermelons? Do you guys eat watermelons? They will not. Okay. Do you guys work with bread? Does bread work? You will take bread. Okay, neat. Give me those carrots and get to work. Make a baby. Still not produce. Oh, because I need a villager. Because I'm crafting villagers. Eh, I think they did it because they made a sound. Okay, well, we'll put the standard villager in there. In one of these iron farms. You guys have a baby villager. Okay, so it didn't output in the bottom. That's okay. And there then is an incubator. Which will grow the baby to be big and strong. Man, this really is the nature of uh, Minecraft mod packs, isn't it? <laughs> you're about to go do something else and you're like, Oh wait, I need this one thing. And then you are doing a kajillion other things. While you try to get prepared to do that one thing that you were trying to do so long ago. Die. You guys made another baby. Did you get two babies now. Okay. Glass. You guys ate all of the bread. So you telling me making that baby made y'all that hungry? I don't believe you. He's growing up. Where'd that boss spawn? Oh, over there. Okay, well, well, we'll go to sleep and then we'll go over there. 
See if it's still there. It is. Ouch. Oh, you bitch. You're gonna kill me. I need to go make a shield. I need a shield! I need a hero! Is that not how you make a shield? Am I dense? I am dense. Okay. Well, thanks for telling me, game. Oh, I got both of you in one hit. Let's go. Okay, he had a blue helmet. Gives plus one luck, and it has one extra armor than this one. This one gives max health, but this gives luck, and it has protection three on it. So I think those might equal out with the extra hearts. I don't know. Could be wrong. Could be copium. Hey, you. It's daytime. You shouldn't be angry. What's up, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Jetpacks are amazing. Sadly, I don't have any uh, bunny hoppers yet. It's probably because I need to do more exploring. You have a big boy yet? No, you're not a big boy yet? Well, that's unfortunate. Become big boy. Did you do anything yet? Hey, you. Oh, you did. You're just not. Oh. Because you don't output either, huh? Dang, man. Well... Okay, well, you gave me some iron. Look at you. Look at you, man. Now, let's work on actually going to the nether. Okay, obsidian. And let's do it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Purple boss already. Now, what is he? Where did he spawn? Oh no, he spawned down there in the lava, I think. Okay, we spawned way up here. Ooh, glowstone. Oh shit! Yeah, just leave me alone. Okay, let's take a look at our surroundings first. Okay, so we're in this... Bo blood biome thingy? Oh, the undergrowth. Uh, biomes of plenty undergrowth, okay. Let's uh, make a waypoint for portal. All right. Now we know where the portal is, just in case we get lost. Some magma blocks. Those will be handy. Nether quartz ore. Ooh, from Greg Tech. This is going to be helpful. Curious. Oops. We do need crimson iron, so that's a good find. Need some of that. This is the way to do the nether, though. Like, yeah, I could go ahead and walk around and do all that stuff, but man, this is all the mods. Come on. All the mods is meant to be fun. It's meant to be easily accessible. And it just has a ton of crap to do. <laughs> so you might as well enjoy it to the fullest. Just use the things that are at your disposal. Love jetpacks. All did and down pig, man. Man, so I would like to find a nether fortress. Oh man, that's so much raw nether quartz. That's gonna be so nice. Uh if we find any more iron, if we go out and we get iron, then we could probably get into refined storage already which would be amazing because i am tired of dealing with all of the the storage barrels already i'm already exhausted oh we're gonna need this later some solium ore yeah we'll need that and soulstone as well 
those are used in the mystical agriculture for making seeds for mobs. So if there's no quick way to farm those mobs or if the mob farms are lagging the server too much or my, my world too much, then I will move on to making them with seeds. Now I know I haven't really mentioned before like what my goals are. And if I'm being honest, my goal is just to get as far as I can using mods that I don't typically use. That's it. Very simple. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to the ATM star. I've never gotten there before. So, I mean, I'll be optimistic, but I'm not, that's not something that I'm really going for. I just want to play as long as I can, get as much as I can done, and just catalog my journey so you guys can be there with me. Now, I would like... Are there any... There's a dungeon under the, the lava there. I think that's a dungeon under there, right? Huh. Where are we? So we're here. If we go this way. So there's a dungeon over here. Somewhere. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a little fortress. Okay, maybe this goes into that dungeon? It does. Ooh. Thank you, map. I'll just mark this. Underground dungeon. It's always nice to have those marked. Okay. Hello. Oh, these open things. Oh, loot. Um. Oops. Ah. Ow. Ow. I've made a mistake. Okay, let's get rid of the source. There. You still have instant damage too. Those are quite strong. You were you were not joking. You really wanted to hurt me, huh? Take that dispenser too. Sticky piston. Oh, you can dispense lava like that? I did not know that. You can put a bucket in there and just make it shoot out the lava. That's neat. Trying to make sure there's no TNT here. Okay, there's not. Ooh. Got some templates and netherite scrap. Neat. Uh, oh, this is armor trim. Okay, so since we got the loot chest, I think we now can just go into the mine here or the dungeon here and see what we find. Oh, there's blaze spawners. Oh, did we get our first blaze rod? Nice. Would you look at that? How's our armor doing? We're doing just fine. Okay. We haven't found any chests yet. This is unfortunate. So there are quite a few tunnels. Oh, this one goes down. Oh, no, wait, never mind. We were already down here, I think. Yeah, we were. Were we? Uh, I don't know. Oh, a chest. Nice. Go ahead. Ow! It hurts. <laughs> Ouch. What do you have for us, bud? Let's uh, toss this in here. Stuff and things. It's got stuff and things. Okay. Aqua dashers. Run on fluids. Well, we got some loot. What I really want is the bunny hoppers. Another quartz. Thank you. Oh, look. And another path. Right to a barrel. Or to a chest. So we can mark that as the way that we came from. And we'll mark this too. Let's uh, see what we get. More stuff and things. Protection one, a bomb, the Bat Traveler's backpack. Providing seeing in the dark. Okay, so this one gives us the uh, night vision. Well, I said I wanted bunny hoppers but I what I also wanted was night vision goggles so that will help I'll just put that on um, that'll be very useful I think one of the bosses is stuck in some lava but since they are lava immune it's not doing anything to them so we can turn the ability on yeah now we have night vision very nice pyrite ore 
What does pyrite give? Iron. Okay, pyrite gives iron. Well, nice. There, uh, path up. Ooh, lava. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah. Uh, okay. Time to use slash home. <laughs> That's why we have slash home, baby. That's what we did. We did it. There's no going back. We made a mistake, and we slash homed for that. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> I will be I will be real. That that I was always going to do that. I'm not going to I'm not going to succumb to the lava. I will not. I know all my stuff goes into a tombstone, but I don't even want to deal with that, man. That would be a pain in the ass. Moving on. <laughs> uh it scared the shit out of me though. I'll say that. Good lord. We have some we have some other quartz, and we got quite a bit of stuff, actually. We got quite a bit of stuff. We will go ahead and cook this raw nether quartz. This is going to be amazing. So we'll put two and that. Two and that. Just two, two. Take half of these. Ooh, and they each smelt into two when they're done. Nice. So we're going to have quite a bit of nether quartz. That is awesome. Let's see if how our villagers are doing over here. So you guys, oh, you didn't eat all the bread. Well, look at you, that's so nice of you. Let's go ahead and toss these babies into here. Grab the big boys, put you in there. Oh, 29 iron, would you look at that? So one more iron farm, very nice. Put another iron farm there. We'll put you in there, you're not happy about it. I do not care. Okay, and poop. Are you outputting as well? You're made to output, right? Yeah, okay, all three of you are outputting, nice. That's good, now we have three of these going, so that'll be our iron farm for now. We are going to town. That's what I like to see. Now, we need silicon. One of you is going to be yeah, there you go. You're already doing it. Okay. You're going to be working on silicon. And we need energized um, iron. Oh, we got our we got a compacting drawer. That's useful. You know what we don't have much of that we're going to need is slime. Do I have a slime egg already? Yeah, I do. I have a slime spawn egg. Okay. That will be nice because I only have four slime balls. And I'm going to need to turn these into circuits. All right, let's go ahead and take a, a gander at refined storage. So for refined storage, you are going to need a controller, um, a disk drive, and I always like to do the crafting grid because you can view your items and craft things in there as well. We also need, need quartz enriched iron, processor bindings, and all of these as well. Then I'll go ahead and mark the 1k storage also. Alright, let's get to work, shall we? So I'm going to need to, unfortunately, use all of my slime, but that is okay. It is quite alright. It is for the greater good. 
We need one destruction and one construction. 54 iron. That's why it's so good. These are so nice, man. We'll make some more of that. Get some cables. Yeah, external storage. Now, external storage allows me to set these things up here into the network here so I don't have to use the space that these are taking up within the network. I need a storage controller. I need oak drawers or I need a one by one drawer and how you can get those easily is you just make chests and put them back in here. So, oh, I got one of those as well. Look at that. Our nether trip was fruitful, even if I almost died. <laughs> and we'll do this. Um, for now. Just run it straight over to here. Don't like how it looks. But, you know, we, we work with what we got. I'm going to turn this on to whitelist real quick, uh, just so it does nothing for now. Now we need to make a configurator or a configuration tool and a linking tool. Need paper. So let's go over here and grab this. Hey, you. What are you? Oh, you gave me a different sword. Oh, 45 emeralds. Do I have that much? Of course I don't. Okay. Um, okay. So now with a configuration tool, what we can do is... We can lock these so nothing else will go into them except for what is in that specific slot. Essentially, it stops our system from just tossing random crap into this. So it's really nice. We're going to need to make some upgrades. And we will put the upgrade, one of the upgrades in there. And how are you on storage? 4.1k. And we'll put the other upgrade in here. Move. Damn it, you move. Okay. Now, what we can do is, since we have the linking tool, you right click, it changes what you do. Um, so this is to add things to the network. And this is to remove, of course. But if you crouch and right click, you can select multiple or a singular one. So we want to add multiple. We select this, conf controller configure to the tool. Okay, so this is just showing the area that it can use. Um, now, take this and you just hover over each of these linked drawers to the controller. So now this controller can see everything that we have in these drawers. And look at this. All of those items are now in our storage. And we have we have a few thousand items, or at least 3,000, 4,000. And look, we're only storing 38 items. So this is how you can bypass needing disks early game. It's actually very handy. Uh, I use this for quite a long time, and then I just put a ton of upgrades in them. And what's really useful later on, when you get to, you know, when you get quite a bit of resources, and you can make compacting drawers, so compacting drawers allow you to put all of an ingot, like a say you put an iron ingot into a compacting drawer, that will allow you to, it will show you iron blocks, iron ingots, and iron nuggets in your storage. Now that doesn't mean you have all of those blocks, all of those ingots, and all of those nuggets at one time. The compacting drawer just shows you what you could have. So if you've ever seen a playthrough and you're like, how do these guys have 2 billion iron nuggets? Why did they craft all of those? Uh, they didn't. Typically, they just have compacting drawers and they're just storing all of their ingots in there externally. It's really, really useful. Now, for your disk priority, uh, I always put mine to negative 1. So this will always be the priority. Um, the, lower, the lower the number, the more prioritized it is. So if you do negative 1, because you need your external storage priority to be one one more higher which means it's a lower priority than your actual disks um, or you'll run into some weird you might run into some weird janky issues where items are going in and then out and then in and then out so this will help solve that uh, that's a nice little a small little rundown I really like refined storage it's not as powerful as AE2 but it is much more simplistic um, it can be a little bit more expensive to get into early on, 
but it's less expensive and less uh, time consuming for me, uh, in my opinion at least, than AE2 is. Less powerful, but easier to access. What I might do before we end is I want to make if we can afford it, I would like to make uh, maybe a wind generator or two. 33 iron, look at that. Oh man, that kind of spooked me. Oh, you're so fast. doing that was so fast he was playing some music though he was he was playing some bangers y'all heard that that was crazy <laughs> since we can let's just toss some stuff in here oh gosh yes this is so nice uh later on i'll go ahead and move um just about everything i have into here where'd that blue boss go he's still alive did it despawn where are you? There? Oh no, that's my portal. Wow, this this jetpack just makes the world so more so much more accessible. Oh, there's a green one. Hello, bud. How are you? I feel like you're gonna drop an iron pick that's enchanted. No, you dropped your chest plate. Oh, it's a green with uh quite a bit of stuff on that. Damn. We got six armor and some max health on that. It's got also a bunch of mana regen stuff, but I'm not using um, magic right now anyway. I guess that blue boss might have despawned. Hmm. I suppose he did. Let's uh, go back to our nice little area then. Oh, we got some quest rewards. Ah, from refined storage. Let's collect these then. Beautiful. We get to save. Oh, 18 basic processors. We get to save so much resources with those. Yes, we don't need the slimes for now. Oh, it's so nice. Now, where are those alloys? Here they are. Let's get to work, baby. Do I have... I think I have other process things here. Yeah, I have three control, control circuits. We can already make one. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. Oh, so good. Okay. So this this uh works better the higher it is. We need more energy pipes, though. If we want to build it up just a little bit. As high as I can. Uh, do a hundred. We'll do Y one hundred, and uh, see how much it gives. Yeah, one hundred and ninety-two. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I think I think um, that should be quite all right. Wait, how much energy does a basic one output? 1,024 energy. Oh, well, let's just take the basic one then, and we'll take this advanced one out, and we'll use that for something later. Uh, we'll just leave this here. 192 is not bad. We'll make one more. 5 iron. And 10 redstone. Get to work. And we got a reinforced alloy, which will be used later. Okay, we got our infused alloys. Now we need these... Uh, energy tablets and luckily we had some basic control circuits already and we can make another one of these very nice turn this on and we need to make another basic pipe upgrade Okie dokie. boop and look at that 192 192 we are chilling so now we have renewable power that is so nice okay so we have our renewable power we've got our Refined storage set up over here with our external storage bus pointing to these drawers here. This is so nice. Okay, this is awesome. I think we accomplished a lot of what we wanted to do today. We almost died to a really big mistake in the nether, but Slash Home saved us. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed uh, everything so far. I really look forward to continuing. Now, our pacing will continue to increase, especially since we have some iron farms here. We've got some villagers um, going strong over here. Just continuing to 
make more for us. And look at that. Four more big boy villagers. And we have three more babies. This is going to be so nice. We are going to... We're going to be pumping out iron farms so we don't have to deal with uh, the lack of iron anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, look at that back there. Well, <laughs> I hope you all stay safe. I hope you all have fun, and I'll see you next time. Take care.